railroad network above Rome supply the German armies to the south. Preceding our major ground assault against Rome, the 12th Air Force was ordered to sever the German arteries of supply. Dive bombers concentrated on this area during April. Target, Bobara. Marshalling yards, railroad bridges, motor transport and airfields were constantly attacked. While medium bombers hit the larger communication centers, dive bombers went after pinpoint targets. By bombing the transportation system north of Rome before the all-out offensive, our air force was able to choke the flow of supplies to the German armies. The airfield and dispersal areas at Forbara, just north of Rome, are bombed and strafed by A-36s on April 14th. Armed with two 500-pound bombs, another A-36 approaches the same target from 1,000 feet, passes over the living quarters on the edge of the airfield, and scores hits. These pictures were taken by automatic cameras mounted on the wings of the planes. A preceding plane of the flight may be seen leaving the target. Another plane comes in to dive bomb the airfield. Hits are scored on a building, and the plane continues straight across the field, strafing parked aircraft. The railroad near the Terbo was attacked on April 17th. Bombs were dropped in a train strafe. Very heavy flak concentrated along the tracks on the river bank. The altitude during the run was 100 feet. Tracers fired by the ground defenses may be seen in these pictures. After bombing the railroad tracks north of Viterbo on April 21st, the pilot starts home. On the way, he fires an eight-second burst at a freight engine from an altitude of 200 feet. Railroad tracks between Viterbo and Fabrica de Roma. The plane dropped two 500-pound bombs on the tracks and stopped motor transport in the area. One truck was seen to go up in flames. The following day, a truck and tank car in the same region are shot up. Target, Canino Airstrip, northwest of Rome. Parked enemy aircraft are strafed on April 23rd. During the strafing action, the pilot shot down an ME-109, which came directly out of the sun. The next day, the same airfield is attacked. Gun emplacements are strafed, some disguised as corn shocks. Armor-piercing incendiaries bouncing off the corn shocks are the first evidence that they are camouflaged gun positions. No enemy planes were seen on the ground during this run. Target, motor transport on the road south of Orte. An armored car and truck are stopped. Target, railroad track south of Atigliano. A pair of 500 pounders are dropped from an altitude of 500 feet. At Atigliano, two trucks are stopped. South of Atigliano, a steel railroad bridge, 530 feet long, is attacked. The ground around the approaches to the bridge is pockmarked with bomb craters. By June 11th, our ground forces had occupied this entire area. Another flight strikes at the same target and scores direct hits. By continually destroying pinpoint targets in the Italian transportation network, the fighter bombers choked the supply lines to Kesselring's armies.